Welcome to the Thinking Particles 5 Raining Down Cars video. In this video I will talk about our vehicle simulator we have implemented in Thinking Particles 5, our latest release. And this vehicle simulator is using advanced physics simulation to uh, uh, recreate the behavior of a car or any kind of uh, vehicle. Thinking Particles offers full control of dynamic simulations. It's an advanced effects tool and it's uh, working based on particle systems. So a vehicle is just a particle and that means you can have as many vehicles as you want in your simulation. Every vehicle you see there is a particle. And as you can see, the wheels, when they get into contact with the ground, they create another set of particles that uh, is now meant to simulate dust. So on contact with the ground, these vehicles uh, will automatically create dust and only where they are driving. So this is a physics simulation you have here in real time. This is not pre-recorded or pre-calculated or cached. Also the crash happening down there that's all real-time physics simulation calculations going on. Let me just show you how uh, we can achieve such a, a thing because it is pretty powerful what you're seeing here and it is the key to a highly advanced vehicle simulation or vehicle uh, effect. Okay, I stop now the uh, animation and let me bring up the uh, setup and in thinking particles, the key to fully procedural animation is that you have your inputs and outputs. So you can actually, just by setting a few wires, procedurally define your animation. No keyframes needed. When the wheels are in contact with the ground, they will create dust. When they are no longer in contact with the ground, they don't create dust. So it's an automatic procedural approach to animation. So there's no keyframe that said, okay, now I want dust at the uh, wheel. And it can even go further. We have access, full access to the vehicle uh, data. That means we know the spin of the wheel, the speed, contact point, direction, and all this kind of stuff. Let me just go to the uh, dust creation uh, dynamic set. So this little setup controls how we create the dust on contact with the ground. The first thing we do is we have our wheel particles. And as you can see here, thinking particle works in a hierarchical manner. So we have our vehicle that's made out of the body and the wheel particles. You can set up your hierarchy as you want. The good thing is we can now access the wheel particles of any vehicle in there. So. If we have a wheel particle, this information is sent to our operator node here called vehicle data. And that allows us to access all details of a wheel object or wheel particle. So we can get the rotation speed, rotate, rolling direction, ground contact, contact position, contact normal. So what we did here is we used the ground contact, that means did the, vehicle, did the wheel touch the ground? Yes. Then this wire goes up here in the position born, which is our particle generator that creates just particles, uh, 25 particles per second, as long as there's contact with the ground. So that creates the nice dust trails. So again, on contact, we activate the position born and we do some other magic here because we just want to simulate a little bit uh, the rotation of the wheels, how they uh, blast off some, some dust into the air. So we take the wheel rolling direction and we take the uh, contact normal. And out of this normal, we use our new math nodes we have also introduced in Thinking Particles 5. And we do just a vector average. So we create uh, the direction, the direction is fed into the position born, is the average of those two vect vectors. And as you can see, with such a simple setup, you can create amazing and, and advanced animations. And these are 
autonomous animation. So wherever you have contact with the ground, these dust particles will be created. So when a particle does no longer have contact with the ground, like we will see here with the crash, no dust particles are created. Again, this thing shows the power of Thinking Particles 5 and our new int newly introduced vehicle simulator. Check out our other videos as well. There you can learn more about the new features in Thinking Particles 5 and the vehicle simulator and our new physics engine.